One of Spokane's favorite sons, Craig T. Nelson, was back in town earlier this week and threw out the first pitch for the Spokane Indians Sunday. And the actor whose career has spanned parts of six decades sat down with our Derek Dice to talk about Hollywood and home in this exclusive story. The trip home for Craig T. Nelson started with a call from the Spokane Indians, asking one of America's favorite TV and movie dads to throw out the first pitch on Father's Day. So the 79-year-old worked with a trainer to make sure he could throw a strike. 60 feet, 4 inches. Right. First of all, it's hard to see. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I was really lucky. I, I, I think I put it in there for a strike, so that was, that was great. Yeah. Made me feel good. But making others feel good is something he's been doing his whole career, whether as Hayden Fox in Coach, a role he won an Emmy for as outstanding lead actor in a comedy, or as the voice of Mr. Incredible in the Incredibles movies, a role that fell on his lap after he decided he wanted to do an animated film. And I said, oh man, yeah, this is, I want to do this. So. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it, it was very fortunate. Nelson, whose breakthrough came in Poltergeist more than 40 years ago, is still working today, dabbling in different roles and also writing a book. It's a historical fiction. Oh, wow. So I'm, I'm writing that and uh, so I'm staying busy. Nelson calls it stunning to see his work over the years affect people of all different ages. You don't realize the effect that you have on people and how if you've made them laugh or if you've touched them in some way that's meaningful, uh, that's what you're really trying to do. And despite his success in Hollywood, this Spokane native who graduated from Lewis and Clark High School in 1962 has never forgotten his roots. Growing up here was what you would say idyllic for me. Uh, you had the same friends. It was a neighborhood. We had all the parks to play in, to do our thing. It was a great place to grow up. And for Nelson, Spokane will always be home. So many memories here. With the coach, I'm Derek Dice, 4 News Now.